Yeah, 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 this your boy Drama Boy, aka D Boy Fresh, man. Right here off the porch with my dog, Dirty Glove. We beneficial. Hey, yeah. Red tent, red seats, jump straight off the porch. My engine in the back, that's a lot of horse. Hunch Drama Boy, welcome to DGB, man. What's good? What's good? DGB, what up? Appreciate you being here, bro. Already, what's happening? I'm excited for this, man. All right, so I want to start this off and uh, just ask you, how have you managed to stay relevant, at, you know, for almost 20 years now in the music game? Man, I think um, staying relevant is, is about, you know, continuing to pour passion. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I, I think, you know, fortunately for a producer, you're not wearing, tearing your body. And every year that you do something and practice and practice and practice, you only, you know, elevating your mind, you elevating... Yeah. You know, the, you're exercising your brain and extending the possibilities mm -hmm. of uh, what's capable in a sense. You know what I mean? Um, as well as relationships. That's the number one thing for me that I think has allowed me to stay relevant and continue to have fun. Because a lot of people forget, like, I was a kid yeah. on the radio. Like, I'm 15, like 15 I'm 16, old, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So coming up with Yo Gotti and, you know what I mean? like. Me and Yo Gotti came up together. He probably three years ahead of me, you know what I'm saying? And and if you look at just the continuous grind, continuously enjoying the practice, yeah, you know what I mean? And I think the guys who love the practice, like if you look at a Tom Brady, if Tom Brady can be 41 or 42, still mm -hmm. in the NFL, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm five years away from 40s, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And they saying 30 to new 20, 40 to new mm -hmm. 30, okay. People living longer. I seen an old yeah. lady, 110 years old, uh -huh. dancing and kicking it and <laughs> chilling. You know what I'm saying? So it's about having fun, man. And it's like no limit. Like like, age ain't no number. And yeah. and and regardless, like my youth gon' gon' always. I'm people starting to call me like the OG, the yeah. living legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But staying relevant is about continuously being able to bless someone. In my yeah. eyes. First time I got with NBA Young Boy, we did We Poppin'. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the first swing king still yeah. in the building, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, first time I got with the Migos, look at my dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people ain't even know, you know, a lot of my recent work, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even, you know, get caught up in credits and whatnot. My publishing check's coming in the mail. Yeah. My businesses are flourishing. We got House of Fresh. We got pregame, sports bar and grill. So it's about expanding yourself in business elements and still touching and blessing the people. Yeah. And what about music? What keeps you motivated to keep making music? Is it still your passion? I mean, music is, is this will be something that I would do if I wasn't making money. Yeah. So that I think that's another, you know, you know, gateway for me, you know what I mean, is is that like I will be doing this regardless. Yeah. What people say, what media care, what fans like my music or not, like they just fortunately happen to like what I do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And people are fans. I got genuine fans who wanna hear new drummer boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, you know, just going through the different trials and tribulations of life as well. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm the family type of guy, so you know everybody heard about me losing my brother and whatnot, mm -hmm. and that took some time for me to handle that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Properly. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? As well as deliver to y'all an yeah. uh, album. You know what I mean? That 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 I think I could speak on verbally rather than musically. If yeah. I just tell you the story musically, you're just gonna be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna imagine. Yeah. But my brother's keeper album, I think, gives you clarity. Um, as well as addressing certain issues uh, and representing different emotions on what we went through yeah. and how we handling it as a family. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's talk about that album, um, My Brother's Keeper, that you just put out. Um, can you talk about, like, what type of emotions you went through recording that project? Um, well, one of the first songs that I recorded was Live On. Yeah. Um, and that's that's was the first single that we're pushing and still on the road pushing uh, on radio now And it's just crazy how certain things grow gradually mm -hmm. and and just so many constant and consistent and unfortunate deaths yeah. daily especially in our uh, urban and black community yeah. um, I just felt like it was necessary for people to understand that that legacies do live on people yeah. do live on and and for me, it was about carrying that for my brother. Yeah. And, you know, him leaving behind four kids, three grandbabies, like, you know, and they all looking at me like, 
filling that void, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And being there and, and, and providing that education, providing that motivation, providing that, that direction in a sense of knowing where to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that for everybody on, in, in life is, 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 is key, you know, understanding what your purpose is. Yeah. And understanding purpose in life can give you freedom yeah. to be the best that you can be along with the practice that it takes and along with the dedication and sacrifice that it takes. So, you know, just 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 really drilling that, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like in this generation of time, somebody need that. I yeah. feel like I'm, I'm right in the middle of like the OG OGs mm -hmm. and even the granddaddies and grandmamas who give me game, yeah. as well as the, 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 the younger generation and the 20s and up. You know what I'm saying? So it's about having respect from all angles of life. Yeah. And when you can do that, you can reach, mm -hmm. you can influence, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You can motivate, you know what I'm saying? And encourage, you know what I mean? And you can use that platform positively. So yeah. that's what I've been about just on, even on my rap tip. Like yeah. my brother's keeper um, is, is, is touching a lot of different topics. Go This Way was one of the second records that I, that I dropped. And I'm just basically like, I, I hate it had to go this way. Yeah. But I'm like, maybe it was meant to go this way. You know what I'm saying? And my mom just always would influence. This is a celebration of his life. Yeah. We're not, we not, we not mourning to death. We're celebrating mm -hmm. life. You know what I mean? And the family, the, the 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 blessings that he left behind. So just learning how to look at things different ways, reading more, uh, and, and making sure that I share those emotions with the world. Cause yeah. it's, it's 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 crazy that this tragedy has turned into my. Kanye moment in a mm. sense, like through the wire. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, everybody who hears the album or hears the single, the peak program directors out in Valdosta, um, yesterday were just like, man, I can feel the message. Like yeah. everybody just playing the record on the strength naturally. Yeah. Like I haven't even put up a real marketing budget behind it. And it's it's just crazy how it's just been gradually growing through spirit and soul, yeah. you know what I mean? So it, it, it's just a blessing. And again, man, it's like, I hate it had to go this way. Yeah. How therapeutic was it uh, recording that album for you? Um, recording the album was very therapeutic in a sense of, you know, allowing me to vent yeah. and just get out all that pain and emotion yeah. through the mic and just, you know what I mean? Putting it into the beats, the music, mm -hmm. Uh, even the beat selection and the producers that that helped me get my emotions out. You know yeah. what I mean? It's crazy because I remember doing a workshop with Patchwork the weekend my brother was killed. Mm -hmm. And during one of the, it's crazy because okay, the workshop was on Friday, like 7 p.m. Saturday the 10th, my brother was was killed, mm -hmm. and I had to go to the workshop again on Sunday. So that Saturday I had canceled. Yeah. But I was like, man, I got one more day. These folks done paid their money. That like, I gotta go give them. And it was only like eight producers, a small intimate yeah. workshop. And I went, and on Saturday, since I missed, I had told uh, the orchestrator, um, he was one of the coordinators of the event. And I was like, man, yo, just tell him, man, make me some music. I'm finna start working on the album. Hmm. Like, the, like the night I found out you know what I'm yeah. saying? It went through what I went through with my brother. I just told him, I was like, man, I need beats. Mm. You know what I mean? Just work on some music for me. So all of them presented beats for mm. this album. And at that time, I didn't know a name or what yeah. I was going to call it. And they were all just shocked that I came in on oh, yeah, Sunday yeah. like, yo, you still came here? Like, yeah, didn't nobody want to talk to me. It was just silent. Like, what about it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. saying shit. And I'm just like, yo, just... Let me just hear music, man. Don't ask me no questions. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Just let me hear music. And and you know, one of the producers, shout out to my dog S. E. Trill. Um, he played this beat and I heard these these this time ticking, like tick, 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 tick. And for everybody who heard the album, my brother's keeper, like if you heard my Go This Way, mm -hmm. uh, uh Go This Way on the album, you'll hear, you know, yeah. the clock. And it just reminded me of going back and hearing all of these different messages that I learned from him. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I came up in the orchestra yeah. playing clarinet and, and mm. Beethoven, Sebastian, Bach, yeah. you know what I mean? And my brother like, man, bro, you got all that knowledge, you got all that 
in your brain. You need to make beats. You need to da 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 da. And I was already the cafeteria king. Yeah. Everybody called me the cafeteria king, and I explained that and uh, never changed up. Mm-hmm. So if you listen to that, I kind of explained throughout my high school, my 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 birth through high school, like kind of how I was raised, yeah. and 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 the years and and what they meant to me. Um, and it's just crazy, like just always hearing their voice. You know what I mean? And remembering like like my brother was really the reason I started making beats. Yeah. Just that influence. Like that was the first person I wanted to be like. Mm-hmm. That was the first person I wore they clothes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, let me get that Nike, let me get that starter jacket. It'd be too big, but I'ma still wear it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, like you see Big Bro doing this, I wanna do it. See Big Bro doing this, I wanna do it. You know what I mean? And he he started paying attention to that and being even a better role model for me. Like, mm-hmm. okay, I ain't gonna do that. Yeah. I don't want him to see me doing it because I know he gonna do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it just kept me in line in a sense, you know what I'm saying? So everything that I do is like all I can think of is doing it for him. Yeah, yeah. And can you talk a little bit about the relationship you had with him um, these last few years before you had passed? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I remember calling him like, man, I'm opening this store, House of Fresh. And my brother was a barber, so he always cut hair. Uh, he worked at uh, Dynasty One, these famous barbershops in Memphis, Dynasty One, Nayla Son, um, just all these classic either beauty salons or, yeah. or, or barbershops. And uh, I remember like calling him like, man, I'm finna open my own shop and, you know, I want to always be able to you know, one-stop shop to customer in a yeah. sense where they can, you know, because Dolph, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, Young uh, 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 young Jeezy, uh, you know, all these different guys, they'll call me like after hour, like, man, I need uh, I need something to wear for the night. You know what I mean? They getting in town, they miss the mall, and they need to pick up a shirt, get a quick chop. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, if I could provide just, just the fashion along with some haircuts, yeah. you know what I mean? So I was like, man, we finna open a shop, open a store. And he started, you know, coming in the shop and, and, and you know, doing little lineups and things like that, just complimentary, yeah. you know what I mean, to the customer and whatnot. And it was just like probably the best relationship we, we had since like the Memphis days yeah. when we would be together every day. I'm sweeping hair for him, you know, I'm 14, 15, sweeping hair, he chopping. I remember him introducing me to Juicy J. I'm 14. I'm 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 meeting a ball and them JG. You know that my little brother right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? He make beats too, bro. He gonna be hard. He gonna be hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just having that having that 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 referral yeah. to 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 you know put put it in people's ear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Little bro coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it it was like those days again. You know what I mean? Sweeping her, keeping the shop straight, making sure the clothes fresh. You know what I'm saying? Haircut haircuts on deck. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um. Uh, it's just, you know, just crazy, like, how quick certain things can change, you yeah. know what I mean? And, and the fact that I cherish every moment, you know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's to me, like, the parts that help you feel better. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, damn, I took advantage of these moments. Yeah. I took advantage of these times, you know what I mean? Musically, we got so much music that's still to come. Like, he has so many archives and archives of beats and sounds and recordings and whatnot. So, you know, I, I just, man, put everything towards his kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And his legacy. All right. And what was uh, your mom and uh, his family's reaction when they heard the album? What was their feedback for it? Man, mom, she hit me smiling, laughing, <laughs> like, boy. <laughs> mom, and she know what it is, so she just broke it down, and she was just like, you something else, you know? She was proud you, of you. Yeah, she was definitely happy, you know what I mean? And, uh... I think one of her favorites was When I Met You and uh, Go This Way. Yeah. And she was like, ooh, you really turned that around. I like your input on that. I like, you know, because she want me to think positive. She don't yeah. want me to be stressing. And, yeah. Like, she know I'm her last son. So she, you know what I mean? Just my mama wasn't never the one to, like, baby me or, you know what I mean? Do all the whole baby. She just be like, you straight? Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, I don't want to hear that. No, I don't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it, it, it just always allowed me to, I look at her more as like a sister. Yeah. So I can be more open and, you know, speak on certain things truthfully as opposed to like, you know what I mean? I think there's like a lot of people probably like hiding behind lies or like mm-hmm. you're not, not really sharing how you really feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what 
free Dave Chappelle. That's what free like, you know, Kanye for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like when you just really let the world have all of you. Like man, this is what I got going on. This is how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and share it with the world. That's that's when it just yeah. they give you a hug back. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like right now. The, the, the world is giving me a big ass hug. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes gangster needs a hug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and has your perspective uh, for life changed since he passed away? Um, I always know my purpose, man. You know what I'm saying? So I still got the same visions. I still got the same um, um, focus and dedication. I feel like I feel like since he passed, that turned me into a beast. Mm -hmm. I feel like that turned me into a monster. I feel like I was already a dog, but like right now, it's just like I feel like I'm a gorilla. I feel like I'm Incredible Hulk. I feel like I'm I I, I can't be stopped. I feel like it ain't nothing I can't do. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like it's just it's just channeling the energy yeah. into a direct target. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if that's my goal, that's what it is, I'ma just drill that target. I'ma just drill that target and that's, that's you know what I mean? Tunnel vision, like people can come from like these angles and hey, I need you to, pew, 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 pew. Like it, it's, it, none means nothing. If you ain't talking about my better in this situation right here, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? These my, my, the four kids, these grandbabies, mm -hmm. and make sure they straight. You know what I'm saying? Little nephew, 16, playing hoop, and Steph Curry just reached out, man. I'm talking about he dunking on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's getting serious. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I got him on a mission. Like, you in, you in 11th grade, bro. These your, these your key years. You just yeah. turned 16. Mm -hmm. Like, my brother passed right before his 16th birthday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he passed right before his daughter 13th birthday. Like she going through puberty and yeah. you know what I'm saying? All these things and growing up as a young woman and whatnot, you know what I mean? So it's key moments that's like a part of life that helps me scoop that up and put it into the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's balanced yeah. in a sense. So and it's crazy. I got you. And do you have a personal favorite song on that project? My brother's keeper. My favorite song on my brother's keeper album if I had to choose. Man, I had to say uh, nothing to it but to do it, hmm. just because of the message, the the yeah. energy, you know what I mean, and really letting people know, like, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I done generated 20 plus mil off these beats, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, you know, some people know about me, some people don't, but they done heard that music. Mm -hmm. And once they find out, oh, damn, you did photo shoot for Gucci, oh, damn, you did I Think I Love Her, oh, damn, you did... Standing ovation, white girl, me okay. Damn, I put on for my city. Lose my mind, damn, that's you too. Then he did money to blow. Then he did uh, walk a flock of no hands. I'm riding around, I'm getting it. Damn, two chain two. Damn, bro, I'ma do me. You just do you. The motherfucker be like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause motherfuckers don't read credit, so it's like almost impossible. You be like, what's in my pocket, dog? Big face, honey. Damn, that's you too, bro. Shout it. T Pain and Plot, that's the first song me and my brother yeah. did together. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like, man, sometimes you gotta wake people up or, or really like yeah. catch them up. And and sometimes like it's just cool to be, I, I'll let you jump on the dick later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll find out a year from now, two years from now, or you just finding out right here on Dirty Glove. Yeah. Bam, damn, I didn't know he did that record. Money to blow, Drake. Get to shaking something, cause that's what drama producer for. Yeah. Like I'm first swing king for real, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Every first time I got with the artist, I'm knocking them out the park, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't really something to brag on, but it's like when people forget, you just remind them again. Yeah. Bam, hit them with the next hit. Hit them with the next yeah. hit. You know what I mean? Everywhere I go, XYXYO. I got my bands on, 100 grand up. See my crypto, XYXYO.